Hello and welcome to my talk on virtual laser scanning using Helios++ applications in machine learning and forestry. My name is Lukas Winiwata and this contribution is a collaboration between the Universität Heidelberg in Germany and the Universitat de Santiago de Compostela in Spain. What is virtual laser scanning? Virtual laser scanning is a scientific method for 3D remote sensing that allows you to create uh, LiDAR point clouds from models. And by models, we mean um, a sensor model, which is a model of the laser scanner itself, a platform model, which models the behavior of the platform the scanner is mounted on. This can be an airplane for airborne laser scanning, a static tripod for terrestrial laser scanning, or something like a car for mobile laser scanning, and a scene model, which is a model of the three-dimensional scene that surrounds the laser scanner and also acts as a canvas for the recorded point clouds. Why would somebody do virtual laser scanning? Um, first of all, there's the cost of equipment and the cost of time that real data acquisitions require, um, which you don't have with virtual laser scanning. Virtual laser scanning can run on your existing hardware, you can run it on your laptop, and um, you don't need to go out into the field and spend the time required there. You can use it, for example, to investigate different settings and therefore use it as a planning tool if you want to figure out which distribution of scan positions minimizes occlusion effects, you can do that using virtual laser scanning. You see the results as a point cloud, and then you can go out into the field and do one real data acquisition um, based on your results. You can use virtual laser scanning for the generation of reference data. If your scene model has certain attributes to it, you can transfer these attributes, for example, a semantic label to the point cloud and then use this as reference data in machine learning approaches. You can also use virtual laser scanning in teaching where it allows students to experiment with different parameters, figure out how they impact the point cloud, and then they can compare different results in the class. Helios++ is a software that allows you to do virtual laser scanning, and it's an acronym that stands for Heidelberg LiDAR Operation Simulator. It's implemented in C++ and is therefore very efficient, uh, runs in the command line as an executable or via Python bindings. Using the Python bindings, we have also um, created showcase notebooks uh, using Jupyter notebooks, so you can run them in your browser, see what the results are. And there is also a plugin for the open source uh, GIS software, QGIS. The plugin is called EOS. Helios++ follows a modular concept. This means you can interchange these different models uh, very easily. For example, if you have a scene model, an existing scene model that you use for an ALS uh, survey, you can change it to run on a TLS survey just by changing a few lines in the configuration. It also supports the modeling of beam divergence and the export of full waveforms. And it is licensed or published as open source under the GPL and the LGPL licenses. Uh, we invite you to check it out on our repository website. For the first application, machine learning, um, we know that especially methods of deep learning are very data hungry and need uh, millions of label points for training. With virtual laser scanning, you can generate such perfectly annotated training data very easily. Um, you just need to have some model of your 3D world, some representation that resembles real data sets. And for generating those, there are a couple of options, like generating models from real LiDAR data, um, using procedural generation methods from computer graphics community, or extraction from proxy data. And what we see on the Bottom right here is uh, an excerpt of the OpenStreetMap where we used the building polygons, extruded them to a height and then ran a virtual laser scanning survey on it. And you see the ground points colored in orange and uh, building points colored in blue. In the second application of forestry, there is an increased model complexity. As you see on the right hand side, this is a model that was generated using a procedural generator, the Arbor Tree Generator. And in the forestry context, especially occlusions and multiple returns of the single laser beam are important. You can then directly derive target variables from those models. 
For example, I can just strip away all the leaves in this model and take a look at the wood volume, or I can calculate the stem diameter based on this mesh model I have here. To validate the waveform modeling in Helios++, we used a test scene of a citrus orchard and compared it to the waveform uh, that was generated using DART, the discrete anisotropic radiative transform model. This uses a single footprint with 50 meters of diameter and Helios++ approximates this footprint by so-called subrays on different concentric circles around the beam center. Um, the more of these circles you have, the higher the so-called beam sample quality, BSQS. And here you can see that with larger amounts of concentric circles, the approximation here, the maximum of 50 in green, gets closer to the waveform of DART, which is the red dashed line here. To conclude, virtual laser scanning is a tool for geodata acquisition when you don't really strictly require real data. You can save on expensive acquisition costs, you can create point clouds of fixtures or future scenes, also using sensors that may not exist yet. You can simulate different acquisition settings and scenarios and try out what real data acquisition would fit your, your problem best. And you can generate annotated data um, in the sense of measurements like dbh or class labels for every point. Helios++ is such a virtual laser scanning software and there is current and future development ongoing. We invite you to take a look at our repository uh, where you can also download releases for Windows, Debian-based Linux systems, as well as for Docker. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us under helios at uniheidelberg.de. Thank you for your attention.